Hey folks, Carrick here and welcome back to part 26 of this primal walkthrough on PS2. In the last episode we fought like idiots. Failed quite miserably at it, managing to miss quite a few kills. Hopefully in this episode we will not do quite so friggin' bad. We're still trying to make our way across to Elizabeth's room. Just trying to work out which wing no. of the house she's actually in. No. And no energy to top up. Fair enough. Carry on we must. I think it's over towards the back of the ballroom on the left hand side. I'm going to head over in this direction. Ah, right, okay. Back into the library then. The Count and Countess keep that daughter's room well locked. So we will need a key to get into Elizabeth's room, which means it'll be on one of the guards. So we'll just have to keep an eye out for that. See if we can take care of this blocking bastard. Move your shield in front of me, you know. I'd rather just keep hitting you and kill you. A lot easier if you just let me. It's gonna happen eventually. Right, no. top up time, I think. Don't say no. Come on, no. top up. Oh no. shit, he's got no energy. Bollocks. Fine. Come on, feast on him. There we go, that's a bit more like it. As you can see, the wraith tend to fill about a quarter of your energy bar. Which is pretty cool. Gonna make a quick detour while I'm here. Back to this chapel area. And outside once again. There is the energy fountain off to the right hand side which we're going to use. Bear in mind there's also a warp gate off at the far end. You may need it at some point. We will need it later on in the game but for now just in case of topping back up again. Make sure all of your forms are filled up. Really it's easier to fill Scree's energy bar than it is hers so make sure they're all pretty much ready to go. And I do try and get some more energy off the gem but it's not going to have it. I think it takes time for it to refill or something. Oh well. Well, we did get a full health bar off it, so I can't complain too much. This is one of those annoying moments where I'd just like to cut the video. Unfortunately, people complain whenever I do that. The amazing amount of complaints you get about a simple cut in a video. The simple truth of the matter is a lot of the times it's worth doing because whenever you're playing the game you tend to fuck about because you're not really thinking about someone watching you. Anyway, 
Back to Jane. I'm going to give up on that idea, thankfully. And we'll head back into the house again. And we want to go through it and open up the double doors at the end of the library. Scree, could you give me some help here? The key that we picked up in the foyer of the guards is pretty much what we've just used to open that door. God, look at the plants. Wow. <laughs> That's interesting, I guess. And we make our way up the stairs. <laughs> My thoughts exactly, mate. And we have another guard to take care of. Nothing we haven't fought before. Let's hope it doesn't take too long. At least it wouldn't do if we'd stop friggin' blocking my every move. Well, I guess, what's the point of having a shield if you're not going to use it? I certainly would. Have a mad purple coloured girl with a weapon and dreadlocks coming at you. I think holding up your shield is the first thing you think of. And the finisher works great. <laughs> and we'll trade some energy just to make sure we're topped up. Squeak can pick it up off that body as we walk past. And treasure chest. We'll go and have a look at what's in there. Yeah. Fuck all. Wonderful. And we make our way up the stairs. And on to the next cutscene. Elizabeth? Hello, Elizabeth. Hello, Elizabeth. How are you? Hey, that's a lovely little pet you've got there. Does he have a name? Yes. Claude. Well... You've certainly got him nice and tame. Claude keeps very still. Of course it's very still. It's dead. Well, you mustn't be too sad. I'm sure you were a very kind... Why would I be sad? I killed it. Think of the savings on pet food, huh, Lizzie? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. That's right. Well, I'm Jen and this is Scree. I saw you dancing with my father. I know, I saw you seeing me. See? And Elizabeth, I saw you dancing in the ballroom earlier. I thought you were wonderful. I can't dance. I'm useless. I hate dancing. Well, you know, I don't think any of that's true, young lady. You love dancing and you were great. Are you going to kill my father? Elizabeth, what we really need, what we'd like to ask, you've got a key to the maze, haven't you? Can we borrow it? Ugh, stupid maze. I hate it. It's boring. Can we have the key? Only if you're going to kill my father. You are, aren't you? I may be uh, having a fight with him, yes. Kill him, then. Please kill him. I bet you can't. Oh, we'll see. And my mother? Uh, we'll see, honey. No. You can only have it if Scream dances with me. I want to dance with Scream! Oh, I see. Uh, no, it's Scree. 
But, uh, no, yes, of course, excellent. It will be my pleasure. Come on, then. And ask properly or no key. Excuse me, miss. May I have the pleasure of this dance? You may. Thank you, Miss Elizabeth. I've never been allowed to dance before. When you've killed my mother and father, can I keep Mr. Scree as a pet? Uh, I wouldn't kill him, I promise you. Well, you see, I sort of need him. Sorry, Elizabeth. Later, I'm going to insist on another dance, Elizabeth. And you'd better not say no. All right. Kind of makes you wonder how they managed to make a child so bratty and awful yet eminently likable. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, straight into another fight. Usual stuff applies. I'll fail. You'll be bored. We know how it works by now. <laughs> I think Elizabeth is probably one of my favourite characters in the game. I just like the way she only wants to dance. I know it's really kind of pathetic, but the fact that her parents won't let her and stuff. I think it's kind of sweet. Plus the fact she calls him Scream, which I think is just hilarious. Obviously it must have been a good day in the office whenever somebody came up with the fact that Scream and Scree are close enough for it to work. Obviously they called him Scree because, well, he's made of rock. So all of that makes sense. But for it to link in so nicely, it's just a really nice touch. I like it a lot. Anyway, fight over, top up time and make our way back downstairs. We have the key to the dark maze, so it's a case of making our way back to the ground floor and the area behind the ballroom. Just going to have a quick save, I think. Now to get there, the easiest way is to make your way through the library, through the chapel place again, and back outside and we're going to be using the rift gate at the top end of the garden. The energy fountain's probably filled up again by now so feel free to use it if you need it. I think I'm pretty good for now. So rift gate it is. And we want to be going to the east wing of the mansion. If I can work out which direction that's in. Nope, not the dungeons. There we go. Just wind this baby up. And then we can be on our merry way again. And this leads us very close to where we want to be. I 
And we can also pick up that chest that we couldn't. Oh shite, there's nothing in it. Wonderful. That's the chest we couldn't open with Jen and Lady form. Quickly take out this red bar on ass. Although she's not in a flying machine, so probably the title doesn't work at all. Still, it's never stopped me before, it's probably not going to stop me now. Let's work the living crap out of her. There we go. And we'll have a quick exchange. It didn't take much damage that time, I don't think. We'll let no. Scree deal with the body. And we carry on. There we go. I'm going to warn you. Coming up is probably one of the biggest fights we've had so far. I think there are about six guards in here. Yeah, six. And I'm afraid it's really not going to be pretty. It really is just a case of using pretty much everything at your disposal. Try and keep as many of the guards off in the distance as you possibly can. Use your dodge whenever you need to. Other than that, kind of wheel on one. When you have room. Do some specials, if they cloak, crowd in a bit, use your L1 button to do that spin attack and knock a few of them out of the way. Trying to sacrifice a little bit of health in exchange for actually killing a couple. You'll notice me rush in to kind of pointless attacks, purely to get them down. On the basis that one less guard is one less knife in my back as I play. Unfortunately most of these are quite strong and I'm still not triggering those attacks properly. The annoying thing about it is if they don't trigger straight away it's completely and utterly wasted. Right, she's quite low, we're just going to go for it now. Come on, Kai. There we go. And down we go. Right. Two down. Do you mind? Give me a chance to get up off my knees after I've killed one of you. Try and give ourselves a little bit more room. Crowding in quite a lot at the minute. I don't want to get stuck. Oh, sort of. Unfortunately, she's in the middle of the bloody group. I don't really want to switch targets purely because we've got her down to half health. I don't want to have to start wheeling on someone else. There's one behind me too. Oh well, a couple of dodges out of the way and we'll be in good position again. Let's try and concentrate on this one and get her down as low as we possibly can. Although she's managing to stun me like hell, which isn't very good. But special and a couple of normals should... Oh, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Finish your triggle. Finish your trigger, good stuff. Right, what's that leave us with three? One behind us, time to move. Come on. I guess what needs a turbo charge on it. Nice to have the range and stuff, but Christ I would kill for some extra damage. 
trying to drain some energy off screw you while we're here. Fortunately, oh shit no, spoke too soon. I was going to say they're not attacking but still we got what, quarter of a health bar? I'll take that any day. And just continue on. I kind of got to wonder if the wraiths actually like being whipped. I have a strange notion that they might do. Part of the whole, I don't know, pseudo masochism thing they've got going. D that special, there! Don't just stand there. Do you finish her? Right, two more and a guard. Fine. We can manage with that. Past the halfway point, which is good. I think this is the last really big fight before they end, so your patience is appreciated. I realise watching me wheel about with this bloody whip isn't exactly riveting. And much as I'd rather fast forward through it, it's kind of one of the most annoying things to do. I'm not a big fan of fast forwarding through combat purely because it gives you a false sense of how the combat works. Probably makes the video more fun in all fairness, but. These things are sent to try us. Christ, is she not dead yet? Come on, hit her! There we go, special should take her low enough. Nope. There we go. Come on. Trigger. Trigger! Oh, fuck. Right. One more. And shieldy in the corner. What are the chances that this is one of the ones that takes a lot of damage? <laughs> Next to zero. Not really the best position to be in. Can't judge the distance between me and her whenever I'm in the back. But hey. What you gonna do? Just get a picture of Mr. Smithers from The Simpsons doing that um, cowboy with the whip thing he did. I don't know what it was, a talent show or I can't even remember what it was now. Something about licorice whip. I'll just get a picture of that in my head. Alright, we're gonna have to top up. Let's hope she's gonna be really nice and stay away. Or at least her hits won't connect by the looks of it. It's probably enough anyway. Come on, Kai, you have not got more health on you. Time to just batter the living shit out of you and get this over with. Damn it, why does that never bloody connect? It's supposed to have more range the longer the range of your weapon is, but the fairy one seems to hit a hell of a lot better than this one does. Could just be me, in all fairness. Come on, come on, so close. And there we go, come on, hit the finish. No. Oh, balls. Oh, Christ, there's only one. Right, this time, yeah. Fucking going down. Right, quick top up there. And um, we'll take on this guard. Finish him off and we can finally get access to the Mia's outside. Oh 
Oh, Christ, I can't believe that was eight minutes of fucking fight, and that is ridiculous. I'm gonna have to put a health warning on the start of this video. Try and get around his shield as best I can. Hopefully, he won't be alive for too much longer. Right, finally. So now that's the combat done, and we can get access to the dark mirrors, which is just behind us. And considering the fact that I'm now fucking bored of looking at combat, I'm going to end the episode here. It's gone on long enough anyway. I've been Carrick the Pally, this has been Primal. You have a good evening now.